Let me load in the game for you. No, it's not there. Hold up. Is it there now? Okay, yeah. Now it's there. No. It just... Okay, hold on. There we go. Okay. So here we are. And, um... Here we go. Oh my god, we have a time limit. Holy shit, okay. Also... Weird? Let's reset. Alright, let's go. How, like, perfect does this have to be? I wonder. Can I not reverse? What the fuck is this? Oh, you have to change gear. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> Okay On a forklift you usually have hold on You have like a gear shift right like say this is a gear shift to go forward You would go forward to go back. You would go back like that now usually it, what video games do is you hold forward you hit hold W or whatever to go forward and then you press S or like whatever to go backwards and this game actually makes you shift the gear like you would on a forklift which is why it was like wait why isn't anything going so not only do you have to shift the gear then you have to hit W to push the gas to go backwards so this is actually going to be fucking like extraordinarily weird to get used to uh another thing i don't like is that 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 uh little icon to show where the thing is is extraordinarily big and doesn't allow me to see properly Uh, what? The time says zero, right? You're right. W should say accelerator. Because right now I'm pushing S to go backwards. And now when I push forward, it goes backwards. Also... You can't make the lift tilt at all, which anybody who's driven a forklift knows is like super scary to not be able to tilt back on something. So if something's like heavy, like forward heavy, you're fucked in this world. There we go. Wait, do I have to lift both? Is there, like, another box there? There isn't another box there. That's where I'm supposed to put it down. The thing is, is I can't see where they want it. 
Also, you never drive a forklift that way. You drive a forklift backwards. You never drive forward like that. But it's okay because we can go into third person trailing camera mode. Because we'll play this on hard mode. It's a visibility thing. Yeah, it's a safety thing. I keep hitting backwards to try to go back because this is a video game and not real life. So what you would do is pick it up. And now the problem is, is I can't look backwards. But essentially what you would do is drive like this with your like head backwards over your shoulder and using mirrors but again because we can do this it's like not at all a problem Do I have to pull out? Oh, you have to pull out. Okay. I suppose the sun stop would not make the load fall off either. Yeah. It's true. You always pull out. All right, let's go boys. Forklift boys in the house. I just, wait, how do you change camera? Can you grab it from this end or? So if you want to see a real unsafe way that some people do stuff sometimes. You snag it like this. Oh, the game's not going to let me because physics aren't a thing. Never mind. Physics, the game physics won't let me pick it up that way. We'll play it by the rules, I suppose. What the hell is that sound supposed to be? <laughs> what the hell is that sound? <laughs> it's Mr. X. Oh, Lord. There's a few more stages of this than I thought. You know what we have to do now. We have to see what, like... The lack of rear vision is crazy. Because that's such an integral part of working a forklift. That the fact that it's not in here is hilarious to me. What else can we like smash against or... Oh, 
Uh oh. Oh, dude. Yep. Just like the old days of work. Also, if you've ever been on a forklift with with it tipping at all, it's legitimately one of the scariest moments of your life. It's fucking terrifying. So I guess this is where we live now. This is our home. Yeah, they even call it forward in here. I should have done that a while ago. That camera switch is like kind of gross. It made me feel sick for a moment. Also, you can't turn the camera in this mode. Oh no. Oh wait. Hold on. The stuff that you're carrying has physics associated with it. Get back on that pallet. Failed. <laughs> Zero out of three boxes. Okay. I mean, hey, that's... I just realized at the top there now that there is actually a, uh... Like, how many things are left on the skid counter it feels almost like silly to say I'm impressed try putting it on the roof but I'm gonna get fired I have a job to do, okay? We're here to have fun. See, now you sound like people I worked with. How do you not have, how do you have a forklift simulator game and not have tilt controls or the ability to check over your shoulder? Come on. Yep. I've 
I've legitimately seen people do that and that exact thing happening before. Rebecca was some high school age jock that delivered your food. Well, that's good. Imagine canned cat food. A whole pallet of that just dropped. I mean, do you want me to one up you or should we just leave it? <laughs> Imagine those polyethylene ball bearing shit that they make plastic out of a whole bag that's like a thousand kilos ripped all over the warehouse of this stuff that you can't pick up because it's so slippery that it you just end up pushing it around with a broom or how about this um a box like one of those big industrial boxes full of uh, what are they called? Thermometers. Falling, breaking, and mercury. Having to shut down the whole warehouse for a hazmat team to come in. Because we weren't equipped to, like, you can't clean up mercury. <laughs> so, yeah. That's that's more than what I want to do for this game, I think. So this was Forklift Simulator. A realistic forklift simulator where you have to carefully transport fragile cargo from one place to another. In its defense, I will say it is like a $2 game. And it's probably about worth a $2 game. Um, again, this is Forklift colon simulator, not Forklift Sim. Not warehouse simulator. I think there's like a logistic simulator as well. It's not forklift simulator 2019, forklift simulator 2018, or anything else. It is forklift colon simulator. So yeah, you can pick that up if you want. But uh, yeah, there you go.